today we're gonna show how to open up a Lenovo, Lenovo all-in-one PC due to replace your hard drive to upgrade the memory and stuff like that or might be you want to change the motherboard or something else could be it's a little bit odd uh, it seems it's very difficult to open up for two reasons first of all of course the design how they produced it there is no screw you can see it from the face so it looks like it's impossible but it's possible and very simple now let's get into it and see how we could do that okay so first of all what we need is we need flat tools something like that of course the Phillips screw screw the drivers and other components I got everything that I need now we're gonna start first if you check the pattern of this machine at the front there is nothing and by the way let me confirm the model number okay this is the one as you can see here uh, this is called Lenovo C40 okay so this is the C40 family and machine type is called FO B4 Bravo number 5 that's the one okay so we're gonna open up and check what you can do now first of all grab the flat tools put it in between and push it down okay push it pry it down then it should be fine yeah coming off how simple it is now kill the old take it out back panel is open from now we can see we can get access into the uh, stand okay well of course we can open up the DVD drive as well because now we can see the screw here, which is Philips. Okay, so let's take out first and see. All right. Okay. Should come out. I don't know what's wrong. Let's push it. All right. That's fine. No problem. Now. The next one is to open up this panel, okay? So what we can do, let's check if we can take out the hard drive from here. Oh. So now this is the time to take out the 3.5 mm hard drive. As you can see, there is a little arrow mark. What it says, you need to press and pull it out now of course there is a SATA connector we're gonna take out and clip it okay the hard drive already been removed now I'm gonna take out this panel fast okay If the screwdriver is little bit bigger, it would be great. Much easier to open up. Or if I want one, one, two, then from here as well. Just make sure you put some extra support on it, otherwise the screen gonna be smashed, you know. Yeah. Just like that when you take out the screw, just push it push it out from the bottom and take it out. So this is already removed from the stent. Okay. It's better to put some support at the bottom like kind of newspaper or if you have 
any bubble wraps and stuff. Now we're gonna take out this back cover. First we need to find out how many screws are there. One here, two here, fine, three, four, five, five, six. this goes Some teeth in here. Now, we're going to stop the water. No, we're going to stop. Here is the actual motherboard. This is the hard, uh, I mean DVD writer, DVD guy, and power switch board. Okay, so now we're gonna take out the actual motherboard. The motherboard secure with a metal panel. I mean the cover. Okay. So we're going to take out this also, this is secured with few screws, which is standard Phillips one. Two. Three. Okay. So. Every single screw is already removed, so we're going to take out the plate. Okay. And this is the actual motherboard. Now, if you'd like to increase the memory, yes, of course you can. Okay, there is the slot, two slots. And uh, whatever you need to do, you can work on. So that's the way how you can disassemble your all in one Lenovo. Windows PC. It's very simple as you see, you just need patience, that's all. And there is another repair will bring it to you how you can replace the screen. Okay. So to replace the screen, also you need to follow the same procedure because in this machine, if you want to get access, you must have to try from the back. Without opening the back part, you never can get into the screen. So after you've done this job, you need to remove even more screws, which is that here, as you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And before you take out the eleven screws, you need to take out the motherboard. So actually, if you want to replace the screen, you have to take out every single components that you can see. Okay. And after you open up this one, 
when you pull the you know front bezel easily it would come off and you can replace the screen but the screen is absolutely fine we're not going to get into it so that's all for today if you get any difficulties